No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. And today we got two of the craziest people on the internet at this current moment in time. Fly Soldier and Red 4X. Is it Red 4X or Red 4 Times? I don't know exactly how to say this. So I link up with uh, uh, Kodak Black and what's it called? He said he initiated uh, me in Sniper Gang. So he had changed my whole like thing to Cody at Red. So I'm not even Red 4X anymore. So because I saw the new music video, it says Kodiak Red. Which mm-hmm. I, where does that come from? Is that like a version of Kodak? Uh, yeah, he said I'm like the other version of Kodak, just two, you know, two different skin colors, and and he's like called me twin and stuff like that, and this and that. He he just he asked to link up with me, not my brother, which I find weird because you know, kind of come in a package with twins. Because they got the same tattoo in the middle of the forehead. Yeah. He right. Be, he he. He been knew who uh, Red was. He been watching him. Yeah, he said he been, he been watching me since I had curly hair. So it's been a long time. He said he fought with him. I don't know. Wow. But so when he reached out, he just reached out to you. And how did he go about reaching he knows, out? He knows who my brother is. But he was. Uh, it was like what, like last week. He was watching my story, and then I saw him. He liked like a a, a thriller, like a, a video of me posting my music like three months ago. Uh huh. And then what's it called? And then he put in the comments, "Little bro." And then what's it called? Then. Last week, he had hit me up in the DM saying, hey, um, what's up? And I said, what's up back to him? And then he said, give me your number. And then he called me like three hours later. And then he, I'm like, who's this? And then he put me on, he, then he tried to FaceTime me. And then when uh, he goes, I'm trying to link. He goes, he goes like, where, I got to fly you out or something like that? Nah, I'm, but Kodak's funny, though. He's, he's um, like when he was on FaceTime, when he was trying to like, be like, you're going to be my other twin. Yeah, to, like, to him, got, yeah. I'm like, he got he got a twin already. So. What are you <laughs> trying yeah. to do, you feel me? Yeah, so like, so he said, he said, do I got to fly you out or something like that? I said, uh, I'm in Palm Beach right now. He goes, oh, you could drive. He goes, like, do I get your Uber or anything? I'm like, no, nah, I'll, I'll come. So he, I, pulled up, I pulled up to his hood in Pompano, and then what's it called? And then um, it went from there. And then what's it called? Then he, ch- he had changed my name and stuff like that, talking about he uh, initiated. But we haven't talked, we, have, we talked like a couple times in the, in the messages, but I don't know what's going on. Are you down to sign to him? Um, if the paperwork is right, he said he wanted to sign me like ten times. Like I'm a John, I'm a John Hancock. Yeah. This I'm well, put he, a signature on it. See, I don't get my lawyer. See, in I don't this. want to talk about people's business like that. But he want him to um, he want him to like do do weird things, like not weird things, but cut his hair. Yeah, like oh, transform. I think he got mad at me because he had texted me. Uh, we we was up all night. We was hanging out for like nine hours. He got mad at me or something like that or something because he's he stopped like having the same type of energy r- right when he told me um. I want you to cut your wicks off, cause I'm gonna cut my wicks off, and um, and uh, what's it called? And we're gonna, cause he he's like, I want you to wear suits with me. I want you to wear like, you get, he wear the turtlenecks now. Cause so you know he does a lot of these videos and stuff where he's got the rappers that are signed to him or whatever. Yeah. Rest in peace to Wiz or, or but I seen him with Psycho Bob, et cetera, and they're all rocking the, suits yeah, together. And yeah, shit, yeah, yeah. He goes like, you got the tattoos, you got the golds and, and stuff like that. So why don't you just uh, present yourself as you know a certain type of way? He go like, it, you know, he's uh, like, you don't gotta be, you don't gotta betray to be a thug no more. Mm. Yeah, so he want to change the image up a little bit. You know, he's trying to catch, you know. We're a, turtle lot of, a lot of people's attention. You know, like, not just, not just, um, you know, like the like. Hood I told my fame. brother, don't cut, don't cut your hair. Uh, I told him I'm not cutting my hair. Cause when he came out of jail, he ain't like he ain't like when he cut his hair and stuff like Cause that. Cause maybe it's a test. What if Kodak's telling you to cut your hair, but then if you cut your hair, he's gonna be like, oh, you a bitch. You, you did what I said. It, I, I mean, <laughs> I'm, I mean, I mean, when when I look, that's the thing with Kodak. You never know what's up with him. That's yeah. why I said when I was on Facetime, he don't get to the point. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, what do you really want from him? You know when what he saying? told you to go to his crib, did you think there was a chance that he was I gonna didn't go kill to his you? Cr- I didn't. I, I mean. Okay, I thought about it this way. I was like, I, 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 that was a good question. No, no, you're not even kill you, but like just that something weird might happen. Like, like who me, knows what, what could happen? Yeah, set me up because he wanted to link up right away. Right. And, and then what's it called? And I'm like, why is he hitting me up? You know what I mean? And then what's it called? I've done business with his, with his homeboy. Like, Wiz, that's, that's Wiz why, a wizard enough? That's why. That's a piece of wizard. Yeah. That's why. I'm we, not going to talk about no, no, what, 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 what business we did we did together, but I kind of did some, you know, some green stuff. But but I told Kodak about it. He goes, I ain't even tripping. They know who. My brother was locked That's, up with Wayne Bam. We, we asked someone uh, uh, if they know they know Kodak person like now. You feel me? And they say, yeah, he be with his lawyer about like eighty percent of the time. If he's not, he's chilling. Uh-huh. He just came out of jail. He's paranoid. He don't really he don't want to go to jail. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. he got pardoned by Trump. He's chilling. Like, yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. Like, so he's he trying got to, blessed. He's trying to change. You know. Like for the better. He's not trying to be a thug in the streets and stuff like that. Even though. Mm-hmm. He's got the image, but you know he, just, he you feel me? You know it's time. It's time. He's he trying to go up. That's interesting. Because young boy is up. He sees the potential, though. 
Huh? He what? sees the potential in you. That's really interesting. He knows we're going to be big. See, Koda is kind of, big already. But yeah. it's not like I talked to him on the phone. He said, I fought with you. He's like, why you got a 17 in the middle of your four? I said, I don't know. Yeah. And he was like, you know. Uh, I, I said that's a spiritual number. He's like, you know, you know, you know what I believe in. He's like, I'm like, no. Nah. He's like, I believe in spirituality too. He's like, look, look, look. He flips the camera and he shows. He's like, is it 17 right there? Too? That's when I was with him. You man. I was Facetime with. So I'm like, this is weird. And I told my homeboys, I'm like, man, he's cracked out. This. I'm like, I don't think he's cracked out. I think nah. he's, I think he's chosen. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, definitely, he's smart. Like, you know what I'm saying? Why so. do you have that 17 there? Oh, uh, spiritual reasons. Okay. It means I'm on a good path. A lot of people say I copied X and stuff like that. I didn't even know X had it until I, until I, until I got it. And everyone was like, yo, you copied X. I didn't know X had something. Melly has it I would have never got it if I knew X got it. But in respect to X, though, I like X, but not his music and nothing like that. He's not <laughs> you, my style. You didn't get into the music? No. He's a cool guy, though. We, were, we was locked up around, the, uh, around that time. Like mm. we went to like juvenile, pro like you know, like programs like prisons for juvenile. I feel like so we wasn't around for like the little peep ex. Uh, um, you were locked up that whole time for a couple of years there. Two, two years, yeah. We went, wow. to, a, we went to a juvenile uh, gr a ground. That's so what we call. It's like 2015, 2016, 2017. Around that time, that's when they were coming up. We wasn't around. Okay. So when X died, I was locked up. I heard he died. I'm like, damn, he died in, in Broward. You yeah. know, we're in Palm Beach. We're right on top of. Broward. Yeah, I, I ain't lie. I think it's sad that people killed him because they were jealous and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. And like being a rapper, you got to watch out. You yeah. feel me? Because yeah. people will try to, you know, hurt you. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Especially where we from. He was moving around too too freely, you know, with all that cash on him. You got crazy ass savages out there with no, no money. No, do and anything, he was in his know? city. Mm. And his city and, well, and, and, and with no security it, and stuff it. like that. You got to watch out in, in, in Broward. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. And he, he was up. So, okay, let's talk about you guys' early days, though. Like, you, So you guys are identical twins? Fraternal. Fraternal, Fraternal okay. Yeah. Uh, what was it like growing up? Like, what, talk about your early days or what your parents were like. I th I'm sure everybody's uh, out there is fascinated, like me. Well, well, my 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 dad died at like an early age, like um, uh, from a heart attack. Okay. So we didn't have a dad growing up. Like he died around five, six. So my mom was a single mom. Um, you know, she it's just normal single mom stuff. She like she struggled a lot. But she tried to make us have like a a, a a good life. Like she loved us and stuff like that. My mom, you know, mom's a Cuban lady. If you don't know how Spanish uh, Spanish uh, moms are, they're very loving. They're tough, but right. the love is real. So what's it called? Like you know, um, just just coming up with no guidance, like no dad and stuff like that. It's kind of like you know, you kind of need a dad growing up because you know rules and, and stuff like that. We didn't follow no rules. We wasn't we wasn't listening to nobody. We didn't. We didn't have a father figure growing up, so we was out here wilding and stuff like that. Once we jumped, like we jumped we out of the porch. We was on our own type thing. Like, yeah, our mom, she made sure that we had a roof, everything, like what's required. But you feel me? Like, even uh, the po the police know, like police back in our city, they knew that that our mom couldn't control us. Like mm -hmm. nobody, yeah, could we were out of control. She was, yeah. a good, she was, she did everything she could, yeah. but we was out of control. We just, we thought we could do whatever we want, and we got away with it because when you're a little kid, you know, it's like. It's like slapping the wrist when you get in, in the in the system, you know. Right. Yeah. What, and we kept doing it and doing it and doing what it. What kind of stuff were you getting in trouble for? Uh, burglaries, uh, robberies. Same thing with him. Okay. Stolen cars. No, stolen cars. Just not, having fun. Yeah. Not not no not no. I never caught drug charges. Weird. Really. I caught a couple. No. I caught a couple. But for yeah. what, like pills and shit? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. I did. They but said I, they, I, I ended up beating it though. Yeah, but they they uh, I didn't actually have pills. They set up the pills in my room. Really? Yeah. They planted them. Yeah, they planted them. Yeah. Wow. That's I fucked never, up. I never had no blues, uh, no blue zans in my room. Blue zans? Trust me, I would. At that time, I would have took them. I seen greens, yellows, and whites, but I never they, seen the blue. I don't think. They or have I blue guess bars. The, the little footballs. Hmm? They no, do they have blue bars. footballs, but they have blue uh, they, bars. They got, they got, they got those. You guys got into drugs heavy early on, or? Oh yeah. I mean, I would say. <laughs> oh I, yeah. Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> Sorry, that just the, the yeah. ad lib there was too good. Yeah, not 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 hard drugs, not uh, not no crack, not no man, not shooting up, but yeah, pills. pills I was, was, per, I was on perks a lot. Yeah. From what age? Seventeen. <laughs> He's just like looking yeah, up, like blinking and shit, like like, like like it just came back to you. Like, no, I, was, I, I, was, I did a, I did a lot of per I did a lot of perks um when I was seventeen. I, I was addicted with. I was trying to be a, I was trying to be a rapper. A lot of people doubted me, so right. I deal with a lot of hate and how I. You know, would uh, recover from that is I would take pills um, with my with with my girl mm -hmm. and him all in the same crib in a very in a poverty uh, environment. You know what I'm saying? 
But uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I, I used to take like six a day. Wow. I ended up withdrawing. Yeah, the tolerance I, was getting like overboard. I ended up withdrawing. I had to go to the hospital like three times. They're not worth it at all. Wow. Was this yeah. before you guys went into into prison? This was or? after. After. Yeah. Okay. No. See, life's a little. Life's harder than uh, than when you're in. Cause when you're in, at least you're healthy. You know. All right. Were you guys trying to be rappers before you got locked up? See, this is this is the thing. I didn't really know what I was gonna be. I'm so I young, know what right? I, was gonna be. I just wanted to be lit. You know what I mean? I I would party host. I guess like the girls and stuff like that. I was lit. I was Snapchat and stuff like that. And then I got locked up. And then after third month mark, fourth month mark, uh, mark nobody gave a fuck right, about you me. You want me to be real? We always been popping. Like yeah, we always I was been kind of popular. But we, of course, we we weren't like famous and we weren't having like money or oh, local, local, level, local yeah, yeah. Like we like where we make money from just being us now. You know what I'm saying? But like okay, for example, when I went, when I went when I was locked up, I had a lot of um, a lot of people were trying to be rappers. So I'm like fuck it, I'm a, I'm gonna dive into the game. And a lot of people were like, bro, you look famous already. Right. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna give it a go. You gotta understand, I was locked up with Hot Boy and on. There was like, <laughs> I, I saw that. Live. There was, there was, <laughs> there was on. There Everybody was, did. They liked him because he was a rapper, not because anything else. Because he was a rapper. So you feel me? That made me want him to be a, a a rapper. But were you with all the face tattoos and everything at that point when you got locked up? Like you've been having that since you were young? No, I, he, we had a couple of tattoos. Uh, I didn't have, no, I didn't. When I went, when I went, was I locked had up. more than him. When I was locked up, I didn't have no tattoos on my face. Okay. No, nah, but people kept, people kept saying, bro, if you were famous, I believe you. I'm like, yeah. So I was always popping. So I'm like, mm, if I add tattoos, can you imagine how more popping I'd be? Do, so, do you so think people reminded, like you reminded them a little pump and like some of these people that came out of I South mean, Florida? I mean, ain't got nothing to do, Lil Pump ain't got nothing to do with my style. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, uh, like I guess some people might come off like that. I get... I get a whole bunch of different different type of you gotta comparisons. The way, the way but how, I'm me, the way how Lil, different. the way how Lil Pump, the way how Lil Pump grew is a lot of young people like were like I don't know he was just came off as dumb and ignorant or whatever the case might be. So yeah, he's got a wave. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, when they see light skinned tattoo uh, people with dreads, Cuban, Cuban, they're not supposed to have they're not supposed to have that. They're gonna be like yo. Lil Pump, 6'9". We get 6'9". Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, more 6'9". I haven't really got Lil Pump in a long time, but... Yeah. Yeah. Um, Lil Pump. But Lil Pump, I, I'm not even trying to go for that style. You feel me? Like... You guys kind of are like light-skinned Kodaks, too. Is sort of like... That, that's, what, that's what he was saying. That's what uh, Kodak was saying the whole time. You're my twin. You're my twin. You're my twin. Because right. he head, has that fucking... That forehead tattoo, that right? That forehead tattoo. And his, uh, home, his homeboy Psycho uh, about this, too. Shout out Psycho Bob. Yeah. Why did you get that? Was that inspired by Kodak? Or? No, I just got it because I'm like, I'm not going to put a cross on there because this is already covered up. I want a cross, but I can't put this big ass cross. I can curse, right? Yeah. I can't, I can't put this big ass cross right here. You know what I mean? And it's just not going to look right. Okay. If I'm going to put a face tattoo, I'm going to make sure it's symmetrical and everything's my face. Right. So I'm like, a bird is going to look symmetrical. Like, it's just bold and it just sticks out and, and everyone's going to see it. For sure. Yeah, so I got it. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, I'm interrupting this interview to let you know that Tote and Carry is back and sponsoring another podcast. The holidays are quickly approaching, and I will have you know that these are sweet holiday gifts for the ladies. Tote and Carry is an affordable luxury bag brand that specializes in statement fashion pieces and travel sets designed to elevate your look or your girl. Your girl. Your girl needs to look good. It's Christmas time. It's her birthday. It's Thanksgiving. Who knows? She needs a bag. You need to hit up Tote and Carry. These are uh, all TSA approved, carry on ready, and designed exclusively by the black co owner, the Stitch Doctor, out of Atlanta. That's what they're telling me. So you have no reason not to tap in. These bags and garments are all made in vibrant colors from great fabric, luxury, vegan leather, and much more. Make sure you go to Tote. N carry that's T O T E N C A R R Y dot com and use the code N J two five at checkout twenty five percent off everything. That's www dot tote and carry dot com and use code N J twenty five. Back to the interview. So you guys are locked up and uh 
you decided to become rappers while you're in there. And, it, and so, what was that environment like? You're so, talking about Hot Boy being there. Or you just got or just getting put on to mad shit, so, and learning about all so, this stuff. So basically, when I was locked up, I was probably one of the only people in the dorm in, in the dorm uh, that did not want to be a rapper. That knew how to rap. That knew how to freestyle, but didn't care. <laughs> you see, everybody. By the way, I don't write my music. I freestyle. Okay. Hey, when I'm in the studio, straight freestyle is straight what I'm vibing off of, whatever I feel like in, on the mic, right? So you see everybody writing down on their pads, like on the paper, like trying to make trying to make a whole bunch of songs. They made like 20 songs after they get out, whatever. And they say they want to be a rapper, but I never really care to be a rapper. And then I come out and I'm like, the only I get all tatted up and, and I'm like, man, the only thing that's that's good for me is either robbing or or which is not good. Mm. And then what's it called? Or rapping, and then I took the positive route, ra ra uh, rapping. Right. And it worked. You know what I mean? It kind of, you know, worked out. How are you guys doing in that environment, though? Those, you got to be around all kinds of gangsters and crazy nah, ass not, street I, dudes in, in jail, right? Oh, in jail? I mean, jail's not jail's not not. It's not. Look, it's as not dangerous as what people make it seem. Look. Of course, yeah, your heart is gonna be beating when you first get in there. You feel me? But once you're comfortable, you adjust. Everyone adjusts. You feel me? But um, it all depends on you. I think it's more dangerous out here in the streets. Yeah. Cause you get there's gun there's guns. I mean I'm not. You, it's you, real life. Yeah, so. you're gonna have to fight. Yeah, I, I I had to fight. What like second day I got there. Really. But but what, yeah. kind, what was that like? What would you have to fight over? Um, dumb stuff. He, uh, it was really dumb. He was I was sitting at the table. He was acting friendly. What's it called? And then what's it called? He looked like someone I would hang out they'll, with. They'll try hang out with. They'll him. try to try. And like Peter, you get locked up. They'll come at, especially when you first come in. They'll try to try you. Yeah, they try like, to try you. Like um, my first fight, I had to get into a fight because they made me fight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> They're like, oh, I like you over him. It's called Toh. You got to test your heart. Yeah, people uh -huh. instigating like crazy. So like, if board. you. If you don't fight him, they're gonna bully you your whole entire stay. Right. Yeah, you gotta you 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 gotta fight because if you don't fight, then what's it called? They're gonna bitch you up the whole yeah, time. Yeah. So they're gonna and take say, food. They're gonna say, "Hey, look, I like him over you." Mm. And, and you're, you're gonna, gonna get mad. And your ego is gonna be like, "Man, man, you feel me? You like?" No, nah, at first gonna be like, "I don't gotta fight him because I don't gotta prove nothing to nobody." Right. But they're gonna get on you for days. Because yes. you can walk away in the streets. In you can theory. walk away in, the in prison. You really can't, right? Because I mean, then you're just going to be abused. I mean, the rest it, it of the depends time, who you are. They're going to take your food. Yeah. It depends who you are. Because in the streets, if you walk away, they're going to. You feel me? Like someone like us, they're going to record it. They're going to record us and stuff like that. Like, right. oh, you got best There's a lot of phones in there, even when you were locked up. Uh, no, we we was in a grand. We didn't. The only time you would get a phone if uh, if the floor staff, the the COs, give you uh, a phone. Right. You got to have your face, your face card. Mm. Your, once your face card is good, you could. You could fuck a staff member. You could get uh, alcohol. You ever you, do that? You fuck any staff members? Bro, I, I wasn't I wasn't tatted up or, or look grown enough to, to fuck a staff member. So <laughs> maybe, maybe you should go back. <laughs> no, I don't want to go back. Get some pussy. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. But I know I know I know a couple of them. They're all. It was always the tatted up ones that are already 18 years old mm. and stuff like that. Because it was it, the grandma I was in. It was like 13 years old to 21. So right. it, was, it was that type of camp. So the 18 year olds were getting in. Did you guys learn a lot about the streets and how shit functions while you were in there? I feel like it's got to be a fast growing up process. Uh, I I I I realized how kind of like how uh, people work, like especially like uh, like men, like you know what I mean. Like you feel me? Like, we're all locked up, like 40 people in one mod, one yeah. dorm. So like you know, you got haters, you got people that fuck with you, you got this and that. It's kind of like a life thing you got to deal with. Right. And, and you just, you know. You, you got to deal with uh, men being mad all the time, like the testosterone and stuff like that. Right. Yeah, we're all. So it's like a, like, a, like an ego thing, like, no, I'm better than you. I'm stronger than you. So it's like. Oh, you, wow. You yeah. can't win unless you can beat, all beat them, you feel me? Right. And then and Florida is not really a, a it, some people are game bang, right? Right. But it's not as big as the West Coast, right? Is it more racial? It's uh, it's it yeah, it's more racial, but it's more uh, county, like you know, uh, L.A. County, and then you got like other counties in yeah, California. Yeah. It's really big on county, it, like how it here is big on um, on gangs. What's it called in Florida? They're big on counties, like oh, I'm from Palm Beach, well, jail, I'm from Broward, so what's up? Because some counties are beefing with each other right. in jail, not on the house, but in jail they're beefing with each other. Because right. if say if I go into uh, Broward County in the, in the detention center. They as that's a juvenile. They'll send they'll send me there as a punishment so I can get beat up and jump. If I'm acting really bad in Palm Beach, they're like, we're gonna ship you off to uh, Broward County, and right. I was sitting in confinement. They they transport me to Broward, and then they'll yeah, beat, no, they'll beat me up. Like, when the Broward kids used to come in, we used we used to uh, right. beat them up straight right, <laughs> straight you right. To, you have to, but it's not like that no more. When, last time I went in there when I was. 17 it got about to turn 18. They got calmer. Yeah, when mm -hmm. I was 17 about to turn 18, I got popped off on by some Broward jig because I made fun of him or whatever case. I didn't even know it was going to happen. He, 
I was watching the TV and he just come right behind me and punches, punches on me in the side of the face and I'm like, I couldn't even get my hits in. And then that same that same kid that you oh, talked, he knocked his tooth out because yeah. he came he came in. He right came after. to my face when the dining hall. I violated probation like what like a week after you. Just, just still sitting in there to wait to go to his gram right. And then I'm like, I've been done this. I, this post commitment, uh, 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 post uh, probation. After I get out of my gram, I'm on probation. So I violate. I'm like, I've been done this. Did two years and everything. So I'm 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 like you know I came out big. Now I'm skinny. Because you know all the weed. Were, were you guys locked up all the same time? Like you got you went into the him? same. All right. W was there much time where one of you was on the streets alone? Because and was that your only time, like not being around each other? Have you but, guys been around each other your whole life? So we've been around each other our whole life, but he but we went through the same thing. But of. we went through the same thing. Like it, yeah, like maybe. now it's kind of different. You feel me? Because now I got a kid. You feel me? Mm. So it's like different. And plus, we got our life together a little bit, so we don't be. Yeah, we kind of got our separate lives uh, a little bit. But when it comes to work, yeah, we work together. But yeah, yeah, but, I, yeah. I be seeing your kid too, and my, and my girl. She uh, she likes uh, y'all family and stuff like that. <laughs> Says you got a cute daughter. That's tight. That's forgot, I forgot her name. Parker. Parker. Parker yeah. Mac. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. So okay, you guys get out of prison or jail, and then you decide to start going hard with the rap shit, or had you already put out rap uh, no, videos before that? So I was I I came out of jail down bad. Like nobody wanted to help me. Like I didn't come from like a rich family. You know what I mean? I didn't get my GD uh, in the uh, gram. So since I didn't get my GD, cause I was just too busy like fucking off and stuff like that, and I was working in the kitchen and I wanted to just eat, 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 right? So what's it called? Like when I come out, I'm like. I'm gonna go to high school and you know fuck all these bitches and have fun like mm. live the high school life and then it was not what it is. I have a whole bunch of haters when I come out because I get tatted up right when second day I come out mm. right. So so what's it called? I'm in high school. I look different. I'm in high school. You know not no high school comes with neck tattoos and one face tat. But that didn't make you lit. That made you have beef with people. I mean people. I mean people hate on me people, for no reason. Hate, mm. I mean someone called someone called him a uh, you feel me a foot nigga and then what's it called? He got suspended because he was trying to fight him and the teacher locked the door and he, he was in the door turning up like knocking on the door and stuff like that and they they suspended him. So the next day I had to fight for him again uh, uh, again because remember I popped off on a Broward kid because uh, uh, for him. Right. But, but what's it called like and then and then he come up to me in, in the dining hall and then what's it called? I'm tagging I'm tagging the kid in uh, in the cafeteria in in high school and then what's it called? And I'm on probation, uh, post commitment probation, and I'm tagging him and stuff like that. And then since I'm beating him up, his older brother comes in and starts jumping me, and the sister starts yanking my hair and starts fuck? trying to pull my hair. They're on top of the table trying to fucking kick. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna lie, that's a funny video. Yeah, you so, got that video? Well, I don't got the video, but people hidden. posted it. It's, wow. it's hidden. Yeah, because people don't want to. People don't want to show me he tagging beating, kids. He was beating the one kid up. I'm not gonna lie, he was beating him up. He, you know saying he just came out of jail so he could fight. And we're talking about kids unhealthy and stuff like that. He's in high school, beating him up. But they're two fat motherfuckers. Yeah, so, they're big. So they're, one, they're, so, they're in the football so team. Another they're big. One, another one comes in and starts tagging him the same way too. So he's fighting <laughs> two people at the same time. And then one, two, the girls started coming, in and that's when shit got. Crazy. Nah, it was funny. It was funny though. I was, I was pressed. I was mad. I was. The cop is grabbing me. I had my shirt off. I'm going down the the courtyard. I'm pit, I'm pissed off. I'm like, I'm about to violate probation. I kept it a secret. I didn't tell my probation officer. I'm, not, I, I'm suspended and stuff like that. But the t the principal told. Principal and my mom told me because they sat in, right in front of me when I'm getting suspended for the fight. They're like, they're like, I don't think high school is for you. Uh, what's it called? You already been through enough. You already been done this. You know what I mean? You, uh -huh. you look different. You feel me? You, yeah, it's just not for you. So I, I suggest you to go to an alternative school or something like that. I said, I'm, I'm not, like, no. I'm not going to an alternative school because then I'm going to really violate because right. alternative school is worse kids. Yeah, they'll definitely try to fight you. Yeah, so so that so that being said, there's a lot of haters in, in our in our county. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Is, and I, no, I'm, look, I've I'm been hated even before clout. Mm. So yeah, so yeah, no, my my city. I love my city. Like it's a beautiful place. I wish I could like go around it, enjoy it, go to the beach. Cause I live in Palm Beach. You feel me? Uh -huh. You gotta but, keep a gun. You gotta but, keep a gun everywhere you a go. Lot, a lot of people. A lot of people be hating on me. Like, <laughs> it's real. Like they try to blackball me from my own city. Like they try to say, oh, he's not a rapper, or he's try to lower my my image, try to betray and stuff like that, like you, something I'm not. But that, who's that, trying to blackball you? Who oh, has the power every, to do that? Oh, everyone. I so, mean, so, wait. okay, the atten hold on. The attention that I got right now compared to every rapper, because there's a rapper called Jail Osama. I don't know if you knew who, who, who he was. Okay. He ended up getting killed or whatever the case might be. But And he, um, had, a, and he had a baby And, he had a baby, and he, had, he had a baby coming, which... And they still killed him. They, they hated on him and they killed him, but... Uh, in our city. He had, he had a lot of people know who he was. He was probably going to make it. You feel me? He, at, me, I kind of like... I got a lot of, like, I, I don't like to say, like, I got a lot of clout or a lot of fame. I don't really care about that. But a lot of people know who I am. You know what I'm saying? So, like, and then people just try to, you know, brush, oh, 
oh, oh, he's not even, we don't claim him. We don't claim him. Yeah. He's not from Palm Beach. Oh, those twins pussy. Like, they make up stories that's not even true. But we're the ones you know that put, we're the ones that put on uh, for Palm Beach the most. Instead of like, Cause come, doing, instead of like coming behind me and patting me in the back, hey, bro, keep doing you, bro. I know you got a lot of haters. You feel me? Like, bro, we need someone like you to make it in this city. You feel me? And instead of doing that, you feel me? Power me up. Like, they do like, <laughs> and it really has to come from because I'm ta- I'm all tatted up. Mm. I'm, you yeah. know, I'm not, I'm not black. You feel me? I got face tattoos. They think I'm ignorant. You feel me? They um, and you talk your shit. They think that I'm, a, you know, whatever they want to think, culture, whatever the case might be, or whatever. But man, I'm Cuban. I've been through. It. I was in the water. I was in the mud. You get what I'm saying? Right. So like, you feel me? But they they just say they just they they just, anything. It'll be anything. They just try to make me seem like something I'm not. Is it part because you guys, I guess, in the past have like claimed to be gang members and stuff? Uh, it's got something to do like. Um, uh, but even before that, yeah, was, was yeah, but it's got it. something to do with like, yeah, we did some dirt in our city and stuff like that. But like, it's like it's not to everyone, but like, get over it. Like everyone knows each other and stuff like that. But yeah, we did some dirt and stuff like that. But but were you going around saying you were gang members before you were formally like actually accepted by the gang? Are there people who feel uh, like you were false claiming what they're a part of? Um, what's it called? Uh, a lot of a lot of people think that what's it called that we we false claim, but a lot of a lot of bloods always fucked with us and stuff like that. I never really cared about like. About game banging and stuff like that. You understand? I never care about game banging. Yeah. Except yeah. for when I started getting, when I started becoming a rapper, I had a lot of bloods hit me up. Yeah. We, and said, hey, look, you're, hey, look, we want to initiate, we want to, uh, like, uh, uh, put, a, uh, put you a part of it. Put us. you a part of it. So I'm going to teach you the knowledge. Right. But, uh, uh, but you're, like, how do I explain it? You, we're not, we, we, we're not beating you up. Mm. You feel me? But I, I'm, I'm going to let you know everything to, to know, like, if you were a blood. You feel me? So I'm like, okay, so what that make me? He's like, oh, you blood, you this, you that. You tell me this, that's your tag. You feel me? I'm like, okay. And then I was like, all right, whatever, you feel me? Because I already, you know, I got blood tattoos. So I'm like thinking like, what, do I got to be a blood? Mm. You feel me? Because if I make it, I don't want people to be like, yo, why, why you got all this stuff? And you feel me? By the so, way, blood tattoos is just having a five-point crown. Is um like if you had a three point crown, like this, is blood, this is blood related, yeah. stars all over me. It's but really, related. really, they could just mean as a star, like I, you feel me. But if someone, if they, if a gang member thinks you look like a thug, you feel me, like you're someone like a thug, they're gonna be like, So what is that? And you tell them, you're like, Nah, that's not what it is. Are you really a blood? You feel me? So yeah, you, you kind of have to watch out what you tattoo. But it sounds like you're kind of like halfway in where like you acknowledge it's a gang tattoo, but then you also don't really want to have to answer yeah, but, for it. No, but he didn't get a, he didn't get a tattoo because uh, it's supposed to be a blood I tattoo. I didn't get a tattoo because I wanted to be a blood. He, mm-hmm. You got, feel me? He got but, he got stars on on his he got stars on his face because stars is like a big five point. You know what I mean? Look, he got because he got, likes look, stars. I got a star on my nose. I got stars everywhere. Just. I got a star on my nose because I know I'm a star. You feel me? It's just like little things like mm. that, why I got tattoos and stuff like that. But if there were any bloods watching who wanted to put you on, you'd be down. Mm. We don't really, we don't, we know, that's the thing. We know, we know bloods that always try to put us down in this and that. We don't, we, we're not really caring. I don't to, really care to be a blood. Yeah, okay. we, we're not really caring about. about what about a crip? I don't want to be known. <laughs> that, that would be, that would be a crazy story. But I don't got no problems with no crips and nothing like that. Just, For sure. Yeah. It's probably easier to just stay out of it. I feel like you, I don't, you don't need you don't need to. I don't gotta be in a gang life. We're, I don't, we're from Florida. You don't need a gang bang mm-hmm. to be to. You feel me? You can make your own thing. You can. That's you, what I'm you know saying. What I mean? I'm, gotta, I'm on. I'm on my type listen, of time. You I know. know look, I know my value. I know who I am. I don't have to be a gamer. Like I know I make money without being in a gang. Mm. You feel me? I, we registered as a gang member. Like sheriffs, they pull us over and they uh, put our name. Uh, we registered as a gang member. They have codes and all that. Once they run our names, stuff like that. But we're not really into. We're not really into that. If we step on, we stand on what we stand on. You know what I mean? Right. Like, which is like you know like I really just want to be a rapper. I want to make it. That's all. Our, which is our being, names. Being a disrespecting blood. my brother, disrespecting me. The other shit, fam. I'm not really caring too much yeah, about it. The, I'm yeah, you tell me, oh, you're oh you're uh, a fake blood. This that whatever. Yeah, I don't really I don't really care about that. Like you feel me? Like that's that shit on bad. For sure. Um, so so you guys get a you get out. You go back to high school. Then how does that turn into you actually uh, I, rapping and making music I only, videos? I only did two weeks in high school. In high school, mm-hmm. got kicked out right. And then what's called? I didn't violate. Um, but I told my, I told, uh, I told, cause I had a kind of like cool PO, you know what I mean? So what's it called? I, I told him pretty soft. So, okay, I'm going to get my GD so I can finesse it a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, what's it called? Couldn't I, do that. Uh, I get, I, I'm trying to like act like I get my GD. I'm, by the way, I've never been smart in, in school cause I never wanted to focus in school. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I never cared to, to, to even focus in school or do my homework or anything like that. Cause I 
wanted to get money. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So what's it called? So I'm I'm finessing the whole time while I'm on um, probation. I pay my restitution and then what's it called? I get off I get off uh, probation like for some reason I don't know how. I was like five thousand dollars left. Get out of probation and then what's it called? I turn 18. My mom kicks both both of us out out, out the crib. What She's, were you doing that she had to kick you out? Um, it's one of those things, man. We, we put it through hell. It's one of those things like. Uh, we were still we would still had cops knocking on the door every morning. Detectives talking about, oh, uh, we're investigating your son for a robbery case, right? Or um, do you know who this is? Which is so called my friend, but I'm like, I'm not gonna say nothing because they're like, you know who he is. I know you know who he is. I'm like, nah, feel me? What's it called? But um, when you keep doing things that yeah. when you keep doing things that uh, that is completely opposite from what you're supposed to be doing, yeah, the person just mm. and it, just, you keep going on. She got tired. She got tired. She got tired. Uh, hey, you shit. act like a man. You're gonna be treated like one. Are you guys cool with your mom now? Oh yeah, well now yeah. Of course. Okay. I had to go. I help, I, help, I help her out. Nice. Yeah. I, I had to be homeless a couple of times. I had to live with my baby mama. She, she, you, she, she. Thank God I was blessed to uh, have a girl to take care of me. She believed in me. Uh, knew I was gonna be somebody. That's what's up. So, yeah, so you she, got she, held, she held it down from. But we were just talking about it uh, right before, right before when we walk in this building. We hit rock bottom so so many times, but it's like we we laugh about it now because like you know what I mean. Like you learn from it and stuff like that. And we was young. Right. So you know what I mean. We didn't have a we didn't have like a big selection. You know what I mean? Because we was on probation, getting told you gotta get a job or you'll violate. I walk in a place trying to get a job. I couldn't get a job because I had face tattoos. You mm. feel me? I had the type of energy and uh, young, wild and stuff like that. They're like, we're not gonna uh, make them work, especially I don't in Florida. Work a job. That's mm. like normal people stuff. You know? Like, I listen. I respect the job thing and everything because I I rather you make money than be broke. You feel me? I, I've had a job before, but out the way, not in my city. You ain't gonna catch me in no job. You yeah, because that's like number one way that somebody could catch you. Right, lying. exactly. Have problems with people. But and even with that job, I was still hitting because while I was doing it, I was going, I was coming up, mm. doing a live thing, you know. And I would go to the back, and I would just, you feel me, just um, grind. Was Instagram Live a big part of you guys coming up that you just oh, yeah. ended up it going was, on there, blowing it, up, and beefing with people all crazy? We were, I, yeah, look, famous people could join. Uh, uh, famous people could join. Uh, you, you, like it's just when you, when you got it all, you could take advantage of the live. Like it's simple. Mm. Like I looked at it like it was a platform. Even though I never wanted to come in as a person to beef with people, I wanted to come in as a rapper, you know, yeah, respectful music. one. You but then me? you would just end up adding like random gang members who would well, start screaming at well, you, right? That's the yeah. thing. That's the thing. When I would go on live, you feel me? Knowing our personality back then, not really now. You feel me? Mm. I'd be hot headed and I'd just yell back and it would get views. Mm. You yeah. feel me? And it'll go viral. So I'm like. Yo, this and is for kinda, some people it got it got it got a, it got a lot it got us a lot of haters it got it got people pressed which is cool because it kind of made us you know mm -hmm. what I mean it's just but, the, it's just the internet thing right but they don't understand that we just we just we just like young like we just you know I know I'm talented they could say I'm not talented I'm very talented and I'm just just trying to make music for me just trying to come up and, and and just trying to make a standpoint and stuff like that but yeah I I have like a personality too not just music so when on the mm -hmm. live your personality shows because mm -hmm. you're not putting out music, you're talking with your, you know, with, with conversation. So yeah, we got hot-headed uh, a couple times, like no chill type type vibes. But that's like really that. me, I'm not acting Are on you? I'm not acting on live, like when I get mad at someone, like- We getting mad for real, that's, yeah. That's cause you talking shit, so I'm like, you know, I just talk back. But we me? never came on, on the live with like, oh, we Faking just wanna beef, we wanna beef automatically. Like we have people that just like come at us for no reason. Right. But now, but really now it's starting to become like a, uh, you know, when you get when you start doing things for too long, you get it get tiring. You feel me? Get yeah. too old. Right. And so, did you guys get your Instagrams deleted because of the lies? My Instagram again. You never got deleted. Oh, you never did. Okay. I don't know why my Instagram. Uh, I was keep been, getting. I was been uh, paranoid and cautious about my Instagram. But when I see the Instagram lives, you guys screaming at people, just basically two people screaming at each other, being like, "I'm gonna shoot you!" And then I'm like, "Yeah, that'll definitely probably get your Instagram live." <laughs> but every time I got banned, no, every, really, you're, was, you're tripping. That's not. That's not. That's not <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> that, that's not how my lives go. Really. Oh, okay. I don't talk like I'm gonna do. You feel me? It's like other people telling you that they're Look, gonna kill they really, you. They know. Right? They really when do. I go on live, I like to outsmart people. I like to strategize it. So I don't. I'm not gonna talk to you crazy. Yeah, you don't, like I'm gonna kill. I, I'm like really. Uh, you're not gonna make it. I'm like really. So what make you think that? You yeah, feel me? we don't go on live and talk about we're gonna like, shoot people. Like I you just, don't do that. I like to get under people's skin. <laughs> but people do do that. But bro. I don't. I'm not gonna threaten you. I'm not gonna talk because yeah, that's you could get deleted. I know. I know you get deleted. I couldn't believe you told uh, Hot Boy that he wasn't running shit in the jail. He was being oh, real. Oh no, well, I'm telling the truth though. <laughs> I'm not. But you see, I'm not lying. Right. He was running. He was running his dorm, but he wasn't running the whole the whole facility. Like I. I personally never like he never came up to me and ran me. Right. That's like that's like and 
only reason why I joined the slides because the day before on a story, he put on a journal saying that, oh, I was running shit in my gram and stuff like that. Right. You feel me? Which my homeboy came up to him and tried to fight him one time. He didn't really want to fight. He had his he had his crash dummy, which is that's someone that he makes fight. You feel me? Uh um uh be uh beat him um pop off on him. You uh -huh. feel me? Which his crash dummy was fighting a lot for him. <laughs> I felt bad uh, when I brought that up on his interview and he didn't want to talk his, about it. His response, his response was kind of, he, but he was kind of on it for he, like two hours look, on the live. He was making me sleep a little bit. He but, posted a story about but it. Look, I, I, look I, he's like, who's that? I don't know what his response was. It's kind of like, okay, even if you don't want to like talk about me or you want to make it seem like I'm not nobody, at least come with a response. You know right. what I'm saying? Like at least like, the, not like the, I don't know. Some, I know what you're talking look, about. Look, I'm not going to lie. Look, when uh, Hot Boy uh, look, when you got golds in your mouth and stuff like that, and you young, like 16... It's not no beef. I, I don't really... I don't got no problem with it. He's actually cool, you feel me? No, nah, he, he was actually, like, like out of a lot of rappers... Out of a lot of rappers? Uh, uh, that, we, that we probably got into it. He was actually one of the, uh, the rappers that... At least he didn't that, say, man, I could beat you up. Yeah, he, he, you, he, if he you keep it as cool. Live, if you watch live, yeah, he, I... He was I, just laughing. He was laughing. Yeah. He played it cool. I'll give it to him. You know what I'm saying? But but uh, that's why I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm going to leave him alone. Because a lot of rappers really care about their image really, really bad. Hot Boy was so cool and chill when he was in here. But, I mean, I've watched these YouTube videos about his legal situation and stuff. And I'm, I'm like, whoa. He's like, going through a lot. Yeah. He, he be doing a lot of... Um, well, well, the, stuff. the city he's from, the city he's from, uh, he's from a... a He's from Orlando, mm. and he's he's he was associated with Glock Nine. That they they were known as really, no, yeah. really step crazy on. crazy shit no, between them. No, yeah. Orlando Orlando be getting down for sure. It's like it's like, like well, and the gram. If you were from Orlando, like well, my gram. If you were from yeah, Orlando, they're, you, they're fading. They they'll, they'll yeah, fight. Yeah, they, they're all they're on that. fight. Yeah, yeah. You, Most of the Orlando kids that were locked up in our gram, they you were gotta watch it. out with them. Are you guys taking sides in the Jacksonville gang war? Um. Like in Dubai? like ATK or KTA? Yeah, I met some like fucking thirty year old women from Jacksonville the other day, and I was like, "Oh, you KTA or ATK?" Like they looked at me like, "What?" Oh, they, they had no idea about? what I was talking about. They're like normal. I mean, women. that has nothing to do with us. Whose side well, you? Whose side you got? Uh oh. <laughs> no, really, no, really. Who's, Making a pick. Um, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, I think, I think, I think it's real lame to be for someone look, that he doesn't even know look, in real life. Look, I don't know. So young look, and ace is like, you're probably like, look, what the fuck? Know, what are you look, beefing with me for? Look. The thing with Fulio is I've been watching his come up. You know what I'm saying? I already knew the whole thing. And it's not really that much different than mine mm. other than he's a black kid. Okay. You get what I'm saying? He's a black kid and he's from Jacksonville. And um, I don't know, a couple other things that is, is, is he's in the culture. And but you beef with Fulio on live before, right? I, but, I, but I wasn't trying to beef with him. He was, he was beefing with me. He made up a lie and said I snitched on paperwork that never showed it to belittle my, to be little my, to make my, you my, my image. Mm. So when I joined a live, his energy was kind of off. I joined his live. He was going viral. And I was like, hey, bro. like It's uh, weird because it's weird I, had, I had joined his live a long time ago, like in the beginning of me coming up a little bit. And we was, was broke down bad. Yeah, I had, I, had, I had like the curly hair. I had less face tattoos. I probably had like three face tattoos max. He was cool. I was, he was on the cool. acid. He I was, was, I was, I was tripping off acid. Beefing with Fulio. <laughs> no, no, no. This was, no, no, no. Oh. No, this was before, before. I, 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 and we was on live. He goes like, "Hey, bro, you look." He goes like, "You look lit." He goes like, "You look lit," and stuff like that. But then I got on his live, like, like now with the wicks and the golds and the and the and the tattoo in the middle of my forehead, right? Right. And what's it called? And, and he goes like, he goes like, "Man, you a Kodak, this that dicks so like this and that." And I'm like, "Damn, he talking to shit." He wasn't feeling that. He posted me on a story one time, like me with a gun like this with with all the other photo rappers. Uh huh. And then I thought he was straight. And then you feel me? Now I'm all wicked up. No curls, yeah, not, not yeah. no pretty boy look. And he tried to call me a light-skinned, tatted-ass pretty boy. And I'm like, how come he didn't tell Anna Lee Chopper that? I, I mean, I don't know. Why, why didn't he tell Anna Lee Chopper that? Is it because, is it because uh, uh, he's in your circle? Yeah, but you really don't like light-skinned, tatted uh, people. You feel me? Right. Well, you you're, just, you're a different kind of light-skinned than Chopper. No, I understand <laughs> yeah, but, that. Yeah, yeah. But, 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 hey, if you want to get technical, Anna Lee Chopper is a tatted, light-skinned, pretty boy. Yeah, but he's clean, though. You okay. understand what I'm he's saying? A, he, he's he's got like, no homo, but you feel me? You feel me? He got, like, sea moss and all this shit, too, though. No, no, he's doing good. He's spiritual. <laughs> right. His skin is clear. Yeah, Anna Lee Chakra. He, 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 he got, uh, he's he, got all these tattoos now. 
now he looks different. He's like a you know like pe- like yeah girls who like him. You do what I'm saying? He got, he got the glow. Mm, yeah. So he got the glow. He's you do what I'm saying? I think you guys are stars too. It's just like, I appreciate that. It, it, it's, it depends. I, well, it's you, interesting when I realized that like Kodak sees well, I, it. You Adam, know? let me tell you something. I'm, the, not, it, I'm not gonna lie. The, 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 the way he was talking to me when I first met him, it, it motivated me and the it, thing it with just Lee made Chop, me look at myself look, like. Look, the thing with Enderly Chop is I had a dream of Enderly Chop, but he. No, no, not, I don't not know. Like that, okay. I don't know. No, he was, like, bro, I'm telling you, when I manifest, things come for real. Right. I manifested Kodak uh, mm-hmm. to be my homeboy, but he met up with him. But I don't really know. I told Kodak too about a dream, and he acted weird about it. Really? I swear to God, <laughs> him and Psycho were in my dream. Whoa! Like, really? and my girl, she woke up one time. She's like, "Yo, uh, Kodak is in my Kodak is, uh, was in my dream, being your homeboy, but y'all weren't talking. You were just flexing, like you know, doing you on live. You feel me? Or whatever the case might be." But yeah, he ended up uh, meeting with him and stuff like that. But you uh, pissed off that you weren't invited to this meet and greet. I couldn't. I couldn't. <laughs> he could have went with me. I couldn't oh. went, but I decided not to he go. Did, yeah. I have a family. But but that's not. That, I'm not worried about that. Okay. I know my. I know I'm gonna be big. You feel me? I know I'm gonna be famous. But uh, y- yeah, yeah. But it, but it was uh, one of those things. I, there's nothing wrong with dreaming about about uh, uh, other uh, other people and stuff like that. Yeah, like, I was just fucking men. around. Oh yeah. yeah see, yeah, I, I be telling I people. Like, I be telling people. I, I, just, I don't really care. I don't really care. It's you gotta like, understand. You gotta understand just how people dream of. I take the rap game serious. Yeah, you, you gotta understand I mean? just just how people dreamed of being. You know what they want to be. We always dreamed of being. You know, but a, a, what I was gonna say about Anthony Chop is what he's doing. Well, now, he's younger than me. Uh-huh. Even though he he looked big, but he's, he's huge. He's huge. Very young. Yeah, yeah. Who? Uh, Anthony Chop. He's like a basketball like player. Gigantically he's, tall. He's younger than me, but. I'm gonna muscular. say, but I'm gonna say one thing though. He's that spiritual thing he's doing. I've been doing that yeah, off camera. Yeah, we've been spiritual. so I can relate to him a little bit. And people like say, oh, you on TikTok, you look like Enderly Chopper, or would you be Enderly Chopper's ass, whatever the case might be. Really don't have no problem with Enderly Chopper at all. You feel me? Like right. I, I can relate to him. That spiritual thing he's do, he's he's got I, going through. I've been sun gazing. Res- I've been I open that. up my third That's eye. That sun gazing, that sun gazing where you let the sun touch you and stuff like that. You feel me? Right. And where it's real though. Because it, it, the sun gives you messages about yourself. You close your eyes and you 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 take part like thirty minutes of sun gazing and, and stuff like that. Look at yourself in the mirror and then you know you, you take your shower, get work out, do whatever. You're gonna uplift yourself as a person. Your mental health, yeah, it's it's it works. Hell yeah. Yeah, for sun's sure. good for you. Do you feel like you got guys, vitamins? Uh, so so how how do you approach rapping? Like like what's your mentality on it? Like what what style do you feel like you have? Um, I, 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 I I'm grew up, insp- I'm inspired, I'm inspired by Lil Wayne, yeah. Young Boy. Yeah, I, I, a lot of people say I sound like, I sound, I sound like Young Boy in some songs and then, what's it called, I got my own style. But you just went viral pretending to be Young Boy on TikTok, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I went viral for that, but. <laughs> that was fucking hilarious, bro. Young Boy's hard, though. Yeah, but so you were just doing your your young boy impersonation, and it was. Just I wasn't fucking impersonating hilarious. him at all. I did. That I did. Style, I know? did my raw voice. Right. That's that's me for real. But uh, but no, young boy is definitely hard. He's oh, got. Yeah. He's t- he's a star. He's definitely a star. He's talented. He's a number he's pretty much number the biggest, one. You feel biggest me? young rapper for sure. Yeah, yeah he's, yeah, he's a legend. The only rapper's bigger than him. A like living legend. Drake. Kanye no, and listen, shit. I know about the rap game. I did a lot of research. Yeah, no young one's no got, one's on young young boy's young type boy's got of, the better uh, vibe. He's got the best image. Mm. He's got the best melodic sound. Everyone's trying to be like him. They so, don't. If they don't like him. They're hating. So he's got came, like the craziest fans. When it came to rapping, you decided you wanted to go in more of a melodic style rather than. You know, well, yeah. that's what, where I'm comfortable at. Mm. I'm not a. a, 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 a he basically trying to say like, we're not. A, 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 a. What? Like I can, I can. I'm versatile. You. I'm versatile. Say if I get. Say if I get signed. Say if I get signed and they tell me I gotta do um. I gotta do some type of like drill rap or something right, like that. Right. Drill's big now. But, but then there's also the melodic stuff but, is big. Yeah, but I like doing what I like to do. I got a voice. So why would I do drill and I got a voice? So I could do all that in those basic beats. Because to me, that's basic beats. Mm. And I'll have my voice on there. But why can't I show off my voice You know, and have the melodic sound? I'm into the melodic sound because it's soothing. You feel me? You guys go hard with the auto-tune as well. I, I love auto-tune, auto-tune, auto-tune could go hard. I love right. auto-tune yeah. because I... Cause I Listen, auto tune is not that easy. I've heard people rapping auto tune; they still can't. Oh rap. yeah, just because auto tune, just because auto tune is auto tune, you gotta learn, you gotta learn how to be melodic with the auto tune. But it feels like you guys use so much auto tune that sometimes it's I not, can't even tell so much, what words no, you're trying no, to say. Wait, hold up! I don't use too much auto tune. I sound like I have automatic auto tune. Like it's called I, harmonizing. Look, look, I can do it. That's I, it. I say, J with all my nine, they like money when you shine. You done played it out of line. I'm a fucker from a span. You done seen it okay wild, and you play it with his five. Yeah, so I already sound like I have auto tune. I kind of feel like it sounds better without auto tune. People tell me yeah, that people all the time. Tell me all the time. <laughs> yeah. But that's your style. See, everyone's different style. Right. But I guess I got to give the fans what they I want. I just think I sound harder in the studio when I put some type of mix into it. I don't okay. know. 
Interesting. Yeah, yeah, I don't really care for the raw thing. I feel like Soldier, you in particular, you seem like you don't even really want to rhyme. Like you kind of avoid, uh, you avoid rhyming. You've been listening. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm, I, I'm into my voice more than, than rhyming. But I, you I, feel me? I feel like as his brother, I feel like I should, I should, I should, t- I should be the one to tell him uh, that he should rhyme. Okay. Yeah. Tell him. Or do you? Well, do you, I, he do you heard think it. That? I, I think he should rhyme. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, but is that just something you don't even give a fuck about? You're like, no, I really don't give a fuck. That's kind of old school, right? He's, rhyming. He still gets. No, he still gets. Old, it's it's because I know I know I know how much potential I got. You yeah, you, he's got the vocals. He's got the voice. He's got the image and everything like that. He gets the numbers. I think he I think he should try more on the bars. Mm. That's my opinion. Yeah. Okay. It's just something I don't think about. It's, it, when I go in, when I rap, it's because I, I like the way how I sound. You feel me? Okay. Like, I sound good. Example, I sound good uh, rhyming. I heard, I saw some people saying that you're the looks and you're the rapping no, talent. Do you no, agree with that or uh, do you think I, that's I see, wrong? I see I see that like not Cause to me you look kind of almost the same, but not a, <laughs> not, not a lot. But he, he's funny. I mean, not like you don't look that different. It's it's pretty close. I don't, uh, I, don't I don't know if that's true though. But okay. yeah, you trying to say I'm not the looks? I'm just saying I heard somebody say that and I was like, oh, that's how they view these guys. That's what they think it is. Like one guy's the looks, one guy's the the rapper. I never seen I never seen anyone say the the looks or or rapper, but I have seen people say that I I, I rap better. Okay. Yeah, but I don't know. Are you guys competitive musically? Do you feel like you're competing? No, musically, musically no. Okay. No. Are you competitive on other things? Girls? Yeah. yeah. Uh, money? Well, now success? Money, money. We we took in what we took we taken by girls, but it used to be girls, but uh I feel like I just got tried. No, no, now, now it's um, yeah, the, it's money and it's uh, who gets who gets the most who gets the most attention. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really competitive about attention. We both get attention. Mm. Yeah. Everywhere you go, it's yeah. like impossible well, not to get ma- attention. I'm assuming. Okay, but people make it like that. Okay, for example, <laughs> we was on a. Okay, so we we came here we came here by driving right, and we came with with uh our homeboy. You said you drove. Yeah. Yeah, oh, we drove. Wow. Yeah, you didn't want to hop on a plane. No, because I lost. I last time I came to LA, I lost my uh, my ID, and then what's it called? And then I flew out so many times mm. that what's it called? That they deny access every time I say I don't have my ID. I have not had the time <laughs> to get my ID. Right. So we had to drive. Okay. Because they were not yeah, allowed. Yeah, but so for example, we we when we're in public, we're two different people. Like I know I'm tatted. I know I look. I look. I look a certain way. Mm. So when I walk in a, a gas station, I'm gonna try to look as proper as I could. You feel me? I'm going to put my, my shorts up and, you know, I'm going to act something opposite than what I am so the person don't give me a hard time. Because it, 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 we're in 20, uh, 21, they're still doing that. You feel me? So like, we still got people discriminating and so like yeah, that. Yeah, I was, I, we was in town. And I admit it, I do look crazy. And if I, look, if, I, if I admit that I look crazy, then people, we regular stop, people know I We look. stopped at a couple places in Texas and I, I, I'm like, man, look, listen, do, please don't go there with me. Yeah, yeah <laughs> you can tell the races. So like, so like, yeah, he was, he's a hothead. Right. So when every time he would go to the gas station, they knew, like, <laughs> like, they, were like they were telling him, pick your pants up. Like, he don't care. He would walk in, and he, whatever. But like me, on the other hand, I, I don't want no problems. I don't want you to talk to me. I'm, I'm, I'm going to zoom right through you. You feel mm-hmm. me? I'd be minding my own business. And I'm anti-social. I'd be minding exact. my own business. I guess but be. my homeboy kept dick riding him so much because he's like, bro, you get a lot of attention. Like, bro, like, <laughs> bro, I mean, well, you're kind of bringing it to, to yourself. You feel me? But like. Yeah, I don't know. Are there a lot of people who you feel like are kind of like dick riders that want to like be around you for fake, social media? Yeah, yeah, we stay away from those people. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's fake love. You just reminded me that one time I got uh, told that I had to pull my pants up at a, at a CC's Pizza I in didn't, Florida. I don't know you sag. <laughs> yeah, no, I was like, we were on a long road trip and I just had gym shorts on and the fucking owner of the CC's Pizza comes up to me and he's like, we got a, a complaint from a customer about your butt showing and I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like I'm in here eating my four dollar pizza like everybody else. The uh, fuck. So what did you get mad? I wasn't mad. I pulled my pants up. Oh, you did. Yeah. I, I had to keep. I guess because I get told so many times to pick up my pants. Yeah. I mean, yeah. this is like probably the only time that's really happened to me as an adult. Like, Sometimes gotta, my friends give me a hard gotta time. Gotta use the bathroom. Right now. Yeah. Okay. Pause. I drink a lot of water. Go for it. We'll, we'll, we'll resume once you get back. Okay. Here's something I wanted to ask about. There was a, a whole viral thing because you had this guy Chico who seemed to be like kidnapping one of you guys or both of you guys in a he video what he, was going on with that? he didn't kidnap me he he was he he like tricked me and then he tried to he's well he did set me up he's like he set me up um into like going to a barber shop full of uh full of bloods trying to get me uh jump because he said the bloods were um 
they were they were thre- they were they were threatening him. I don't know if they were really bloods. They were just a bunch of grown men, like like twelve deep in the barbershop. But were you sign- Were you basically like having him manage no, you at no. some point? I mean, what's it called? It was he- not like no match. Look, <clears throat> we was gonna be homeless if 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 we didn't beat with him. You had- look. He was he was getting money from the from from the government and was that's how we were paying the rent. What, you feel me? With my baby mom at the time, my baby mom said, "I can't do this anymore. I'm pregnant with, with your baby, so I'm gonna fix my life. Just fix your life, and we could come back." Uh-huh. You feel me? So we moved all so the way to we, North Carolina. He, he hit us up way before uh, while we was doing the internet live and the ten thousand and, and, and rapping. Yeah. He said he been saying like, "Hey, listen, I fought with y'all boys. Uh, I got y'all. Like, you feel me? Whatever uh, type of thing. You feel me? So we 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 kind of were like, "Hey, yo, we need we need somewhere to stay. You feel me?" He's like, "Okay, come over here." That's when he said, I could get you a job because at the time we weren't making money on rap. Right. You feel me? So uh, I could get you a job. And um, we're like, all right, bet. That sounds like a plan. So we went up there with nothing really. And uh, he, he helped like, us out. He we, helped, I had like $1,200 in my bank. Yeah. He helped, he helped us, he helped us uh, get a job. He made us stay in a trailer. That, oh, yeah, he got you a job at the weed shop, right? But then you at, got fired? At, no, no, at a, at a vape shop. No, we yeah. quit because we got lit. Yeah, okay. No, we should, yeah, no, I, I couldn't do it anymore. I was only making $300 a week. Right. Yeah, he, the boss tried him, but he wasn't doing much because sitting on a chair. Yeah, no. But my, he was going up, going on live. Nobody knew him. Yeah, my job, nobody would call me. It was dead. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And I then was, me, I worked at like a hood corner store. Yeah. Like a bodega yeah, and stuff like that. Yeah. And I had a whole bunch of people come in and st- stuff like that, but I was still trying to go up and stuff. Uh, but I was only making 500, uh, 500 a, week. a week. I was making 300 up because I would just sit there. And, and then what's it called? Then I started being on my phone a lot, making a lot of business plays. And my boss, he was going like that. And, he, uh, and my boss came in. He goes like, "Why are you always on your phone?" And my boss like, would always. And tell I told him, I made a comment. I'm like, "Cause I make more money on my, I make more money on my phone." Mm. And he goes, "I no, need to be off the phone." Because at, at, at the time, hood, at, so. at the time, I would just be on live and stuff like that. And he's like, "Yeah." He's like, "You know, my son watches. He's like, you're gonna be big one day. You feel me?" And I'm like, "Yeah." Uh, yeah, so I would just grind on live the whole entire time and stuff like that, and and he didn't have no problem with it. You feel me? Mm. But he couldn't take it no more. So it was like he was going out of business in that in that shop and stuff like that. So then why'd you dip out on the Chico? Did you just went back to Florida? Uh, he so he so basically what happened was he had his baby had birth already, and then what's it called? He got like a place for him and his girl because you know right in the same city. Yeah, right. Look, in the same, when I look, okay. He he started he started uh, me up with a new girl. You feel me? Like and yeah. He, so I was he, with he, I he was, started fuck, he started fucking with her. Hold yeah, on. I was with her for five months. And she lived in Virginia, so we were in North in North Carolina at the time. So I was alone at a trailer where uh, they were like a bunch of like uh, Mexicans and they would do crystal. Yeah, we lived in the trap. They, they would do crystal mad and mm. stuff like that. So I had a you feel me? I had. A, you guys ever do that? No. no. That's the good stuff. Nah. Okay. Uh, you're not for real, right? Yeah, I'm just fucking. Uh. Nah. Nah, nah, but what's called, nah, yeah, but I was definitely in that type of environment, but I was, I was grinding though, you feel me? So, uh, I started making money off rap. Yeah, we, had, started, we had like 20 bands in that little I trailer. Started, I started making money while I was, I was rapping and stuff like that. Well, and he had 20 bands, I had 20 bands. And, pe- oh, and, man. and he started peeping that, you feel me? So he, he started becoming a, he started becoming a hater. Yeah, so he got, he got jealous. So one day I woke up, uh, one day I woke up. He he didn't he didn't there was, I don't know why people say kidnap he didn't kidnap me he, he got said me. get in the car yeah he said get in he said get in again the truck what's it called we're gonna we're uh we're gonna go do something mm. I said okay yeah we're gonna go do something cause I cause I know I know when people are crazy you feel me I don't want my girl into it so I know when people are crazy I, I don't want him to go inside the house or anything like that so I got in the truck with him mm. and when I got in the truck with him he he put like I guess cause he had a two door truck like one of them Silverados he had put like a lock a lock to it or whatever. And then I'm, I'm like, I'm like trying to uh, get out to it, but it's whatever. So he took me to a barbershop. There were like 12 deep, full of men. And then what's it called? And then what's it called? Talking about, talking about um, uh, that they, that they, they're threatening his family, that they know where he lives at, uh-huh. and that I need to give my address out. Oh wow. So he said, if I don't get my address out, he's gonna have me jump by, uh, by all of them. So that's why he's recording me. And st- uh, he, he's making me record and stuff like that because, because he's telling me that I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get uh, jumped by a whole bunch of guys in the back of the tattoo and barbershop uh-huh. and stuff like that. So the whole time I'm like, I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run. You feel me? Cause you feel me? <laughs> like what, what's going on? Right. But they kept like closing, they kept closing in on me and stuff like that. So like. So like it was one of those things that you, you know he like yeah he started becoming he's, weird he became weird because he 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 said he loved us and fucked with us and all that but he 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 tried it he's like threatening my life right because in that one clip he's like basically just saying you need to give me money 
Yeah, and that's another. You know that, what? I, you that's know another I, point. He says I owe money. I don't yeah, owe we don't nothing. Own shit. He never gave us no money. I never it signed was, no contract I, to no, him. On my, on my mother, on my listen. On every music video we pay for, directed. We we spent nights, uh, uh, cold nights too, because North Carolina's cold. We're from Florida. Look, I, we spent cold nights and everything like that. Look, Studio look, nights. He yeah. was not there. He no, was with his family in the, in the house. I already knew he was a fucked up individual when he when he would come to my cr uh, crib when I like I bought a crib there uh, at the time, mm -hmm. and he came all pilled out and stuff like that. In front, while, of, in front I, of his baby, in front of my baby, and I was pissed off about it. He tried to throw Drunk. he tried to throw a can at me behind behind my baby's a uh, can of what a white claw. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say a can yeah, of ravioli he, or something. Yeah, he's one he's one of those guys that like that used to like that used to be like the best fighter like 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 he like he, like he, he knows how to. Like, I, I, I bet that's what he was like a like a really like good fighter when he in our age and his prime and stuff like that. Right. And now he can't handle himself because he's old, fat, and yeah. <laughs> so so how how did you end up escaping? You had to jump out of a moving car. Yeah, I did. And just sprinted through. A neighborhood I sprinted through. Or? I ran through the woods. Not I left my slides and everything. I ran through the woods and everything like that. And then what's it called? I had my girl call Uber and everything like that. Wow. And, yeah, and, and you haven't seen the dude since. Are you worried you're gonna have to deal with that still? Oh, I'm, I mean, I'm not worried about him. You understand what I'm saying? He's a 40 year old old man. But it, you feel me? Like to threaten my life and have so called sex money murder uh, 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 bloods. That's what they were claiming to be. Right, because he said that you were false claiming sex money murder bloods. I wasn't I, false claiming. Was he just got mad because he just got mad because because there was there was I like ha I had him there, talk. There was big homies that that wanted to fuck with us the way how he fucked with us, yeah. and he didn't like it. He go, you were not gang bang. Mm. You 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 do not beat with, with blood. That's that's not that's you know what I mean. You're with me. I'm your big homie. Right. You feel me? He wanted he wanted to be that, but he just got mad because we I vanished five months. I'm with my girl. Right. I'm getting money. What's it called? I'm doing my thing. Still rapping. And what's it called? And he's still in this. He's still doing construction. And he's mad. He can't he can't keep in touch. Yeah, cause, Cause we used to just go to work yeah, every day. Cause you gotta say I yeah. can't. I came from nothing. So when I started making money, he got jealous. He, he I started becoming more cocky. I put in his face. I'm like, bro, I could take care of your whole family. Like trying to try not trying, but basically trying to say I got money like now. So don't try me. You feel me? Right. And he started getting weird. He's like, you think he's like you think that's cool that you that you make money and you can't be humble about it. I'm like, damn, bro, just chill. I'm young, man. I'm making money. He's like, no. But but <laughs> but but then but then but but then again, the, then again, we didn't try to like try him. Like I wasn't like, trying to like. Yeah, try him. we didn't try to try him. But he he tried me so many times when it came down to like he uh, to when I was working to get to get a car to get a car to like go around and stuff like that, which was his car at, uh -huh. at the time. He would tax me like like fucking Mercedes he's prices broke. a he's, month for an old ass Cadillac. He works he works a job. But I pay six hundred dollars. He works and his uh, truck insurance. He works a insurance. job, but I just don't know how he's so broke. Mm. Yeah, he had me buy. He had me put some money in for his son's uh, PS Five. I said, okay, I got you. Because I mean, he couldn't afford fucking nine hundred dollars for a PS Five. Yeah, but it sounds like he took you in when you guys were in. You said you were going to be homeless homeless if it wasn't for him at one point, right? Yeah. So I mean. It, does sound like you know you rubbing it in his face that you were making all this money. But you gotta understand. You gotta understand. Right? Nah, the way how you would. He, uh, the way you how you understand. I, pay, way, I the, paid him back. I paid him back even more. Oh, okay. the, the you know way, what I mean? For anything he paid for, but, I paid more. Bro, Adam, the way how he would act, the whole entire time while we was trying to come up. That's not how you act. Yeah, he was. If you want, if you want to be respected, because you're older, man. Like right. you feel me? Like you're not supposed to be trying to like. No, he you, definitely seemed like a total psycho. Yeah. Yeah. No he, denying oh, that. He's one of the most. He is one of one of the most psycho guys I ever had to deal with. Like, he's not in the right mindset. I feel bad for his kids. I feel out. bad for his baby mama. I feel bad for anybody that lives in the house with him. I feel bad that anybody is associated with him. I feel bad that anybody that that has to call him a friend because the man is to totally crazy. He's not. He's not. He's not in the right mindset. But if, look, one so. thing about me is listen. I understand what he did for me. I don't. I don't like. He that's still, why I said, he still calls me talking about he lo he loves me and then wants to argue look, with look, me. That's like, why I'm like okay, it, but if if you wanted to be my homeboy, like like that's why I don't get some people like why why do you want to like try me and think you could be my homeboy right after you mm. could have been cool the whole entire time and then when I'm enjoying life we could be homeboys. Yeah, the but man, you, the but, man literally the man but literally you couldn't you couldn't you couldn't hold hold your anger you had to uh, let it out. The man like, literally you know the man literally set me up. You know what I mean? You're not my you're not my people's if you if you setting me up and you and you making me give my address out to 12, 12 so called bloods in a barbershop and, and, so, and they and it's a small town it's in North Carolina they can come to my house whatever and, and I'm a rapper I'm on live all the time I'm flexing this and this and that that's not cool he's I'm put, just he's scared because his life is in danger and he doesn't care if my life look, is in danger look, so and that, fuck him look and that's the th and that's the thing now uh, Adam uh, we have a lot of people living curiously through us now mm. like no cap we inspire people man. This is the same way how we yeah he gonna be, if he goes back on the internet he's gonna talk about this look the same way how we inspire him to get a neck tattoo and stuff like that why did you get a neck tat uh, I was like twenty years ago I don't remember 
You know what I mean? Yeah, we inspired this photo. All my homeboys now got neck ta- tattoos. Well, yeah. They're not I, really Before homeboys. I had a neck tattoo, I wanted a neck tattoo so bad. I thought it was so tight. Yep. Yeah, they are tight. I, I've kind of yeah. like forgot about what it was like to really want one, but I knew I wanted one so bad that I had to get it when I was like 20. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I definitely had to uh, get all tatted up. I'm not going to lie. What made yeah. you get your face tatted? Uh, I was just like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm getting money. I don't need a job. I'm getting my face tattooed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. committed. That's it. <laughs> Yeah, basically. Lit. I was I like, I'm know. either going to jail or I'm gonna keep doing the shit on my own. So fuck it, I'm gonna give a face tattoo. I, I I was watching you come up. I remember when you used to vlog around LA yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, I watched sure. your eyes and, and the studio was not like this. You used to go out and do cocaine and fucking. I, just, I know you was you, you was, was you, you were a BMXer, right? Yeah. 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 And you had a skate. You had a skateboard. Uh, you guys you had ever ride bikes or skateboard? No. Oh, okay. But what, I mean, what, we was riding bikes what, as a kid. But yeah. What made yeah? But what made what made you come out like? Who'd you interview that made you? uh I mean, X was the big one. X. What about Lil Pump? Lil, Pretty well, big, right? I, I, I did a lot of crazy iPhone vlogs with him, but we never really, uh, we never really did. The Lil Pump vlogs were lit. Like, we did, when we you go out, when you go on the club, did you have fun? Yeah, it was fun. A little bit. I mean, it was out of fucking How you control. feel? I don't. I'm gonna interview you now. How you feel about Lil Pump? That's the homie. I've seen homie? him in a long time, but yeah, that's the homie. Yeah. Yeah. He's cool. Yeah. He's up, right? Huh? He's he's good, huh? I mean, I don't know exactly what's going on career-wise now, but yeah. I mean, it seems like he has a good amount of money. He's always what, got some like, chrome hearts on. What shit. happened with you and Young Boy? <laughs> he did, I think, like threaten to kill me basically one Why? time. Why? Why you? Because I asked uh, that girl Sarah Molina, Six Nines Baby Mama. I asked her about Young Boy, I think, and I think she said that he was a psycho and he like did all this. Sh- crazy shit and so I don't know why she was calling him a little boy and stuff like that it's a grown man he has like four kids it was just weird how she talked about him there was like a couple different girls who talked about him in a minute, row and he wasn't hyped on why would you take Sarah's side uh, uh, um, instead of young boy's side I just asked her like somehow it came up I believe that she was like yeah I hung out with young boy one time or he hit me up and he said this this and that yeah, it wasn't like, like I was like trying to like take her side I did, was just, did you, you ever know. interview 6 9 I think you did yeah his first interview oh okay okay yeah, yeah. that's lit yeah good times you now, like and now you guys are sitting here, so you guys are next in the lineage. No, I, I, it was Lil Pump, it was Six Nine. Now it's Fly Soldier, and Kodiak Red. Do, what does Gen Z mean? Gen Z? Yeah, you, you heard about that? It's people of a certain age, but I'm pretty sure it's like <laughs> if you're like 30 or something, right? That's like an old ass. You one. guys know what that is? What? I, let, I, I mean, no, no, they're not Gen Z. They're way too young to be Gen Z. Where the fuck is my phone? Oh, here, just it was under my thigh. I've seen it. I never, I know. Gen Z is like. No, someone tried to say that I'm Gen Z. Gen Z. Yeah. Gen Z. What ages are Gen Z? Oh, look, yeah, it's a uh, mid to late '90s as starting birth years. So, like, you know. No, we're not Gen Z. You guys are later than that because you were born in 2005 or so. 2001. We're not 2001. 2001. Yeah. 2005. That's the year my dad died. What are you watching? <laughs> He's just watching a YouTube video. <laughs> no, look, no. Oh, okay. This is you doing the young boy impersonation, and this guy's not feeling it, I guess. Right. <laughs> How do you feel about this guy? He doesn't know. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't know what's going on. He doesn't understand. No, but he, he, didn't, understand he, was, he wasn't hating, though. He, <laughs> just listen to what he says, though. He was rolling his eyes and looking in the beginning. He, he liked it. This guy's confused about what Gen Z is, I'm pretty sure. No, listen yeah, to I'm pretty sure that's what it is. No offense to Listen him. to what he said. Ooh. Okay, let me let me keep I, asking guys I would see a lot of people on a for you page on, on TikTok using that same um that same right. uh, do, uh thing. Do you guys feel Some. super successful yet? Like you have videos that have like millions of views, but mm-hmm. then you know some of the, the no. newer stuff isn't necessarily doing as good. Where do you feel like your career is at right now? Um, it's going up, but it's not super successful. Okay. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a millionaire. Do you think that that's part of what people kind of hold against you as a grudge? Is that like your image is is crazy and you're you're sort of famous, but maybe the music isn't necessarily the reason why you guys are so known? Right. Yeah. Uh, um. What are you What are you asking? Like, uh, if we're hated because 
I'm just trying to figure out where the animosity towards you guys comes from. Like, uh, you know, it seems like some people kind of think you guys are more like substance or uh, style over substance. But that's what it is. That's now. the thing. That's, image. The, that's the thing. Uh, that answers your question right there. Uh, coming up as a rapper nowadays, it's like what? Uh, you, uh, straight rapping? Yeah, I'm so not, I'm not we gonna had be... to figure out the cracks and crevices. How, do, how are we gonna make it? Right. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta keep. You gotta keep going. You gotta, you gotta keep pushing. You gotta keep popping up. You gotta put in their phase. Right. You feel me? This is one of them. Adam interview. Boom, right there. Boom. I go viral all the time. Kodak feel, cosine. Boom. Kodak cosine. Boom, right there. You gotta keep putting in their face. Why should I fuck with them? You feel me? Or uh, they're they're gonna be like, why? Okay. At first, you know how people are. They're not gonna believe in you, and they they can forget about you. You know how people work. I, they don't care. They have life. You feel I me? I mean, I think I think I think. But me, when I, they start seeing you, when they start seeing you everywhere, and they start seeing you like you keep popping in their face, I'm like, man, these are, they're them. They're doing I, their thing. I, I think me as a rapper, I'm, uh, my music is underestimated though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. But I have enough time in my life as a 20 year old. I have enough time to uh, to step on next and to to show. Anybody that says anything that I'm 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 good I'm a good rapper and I'm talented. Definitely. I'm a good artist. I can sing, rap, whatever, versatile. I can make rock music, whatever. Right. I Sound mean, like whatever. people are definitely like gravitating towards you guys personality wise. Right. So even if the music isn't there yet, I so feel it's like been, it's always been like that. This though. time, you know, so like you guys, as, as long as if you land on the right hit right now, you already have enough of an audience. Yeah, even that even, might even blow. Kodak told me he goes like, "You young, you twenty, you got you could you could do image this, image that, you, you reevaluate that." I saw Skinny from the Nine saying that you guys took his whole style. Nobody took no. What style does he have? That's Come what on. He was what's, saying. What's the, what he's, you met him? What style does he have? He's got braids, cringy. He, he don't no, even have the face tattoo. He doesn't. Have, he doesn't even have neck tattoos. He's got probably one right here. He's not, bro. I'm, I, bro I couldn't believe it when he was trying to call, call us out to fight. I'm like, first of all, I know who your sister is. She always hit me and my brother up to hang out with her in Miami. Oh and, boy. And then and what's it called? And he's just soft. He's just talking on live, on live when he said I saw a star or whatever in the comment section. He just that's just, yeah, that, that's that, talking, yeah. bro. You know, have you seen him punch a punching bag? Bro, I didn't steal. I didn't, no, I didn't steal. I saw, no. I saw his boxing match. I, I I announced his boxing match on Friday. Wait, what do you think about it? I didn't. I didn't. It, you saw him fight? Yeah, he got the shit beat out of him. He lost. Yeah. He can't fight. I seen. I mean, I, I, I don't know if you can he fight saw. in the real world, but in that fight, he got his ass beat by a TikToker, yeah. and he was really mad about it. No oh, offense to oh, skinny. Oh, that's right. I have seen him fight. Did you see him get beat up by uh, by uh, uh, Almighty, Almighty J? J. I did see that, and I saw him fight at the Hibachi spot one time. A yeah, guy yeah. Ran up they on him that guy is he getting beat up all the time? Well, the the most recent one on he, Friday was the first time that just, it was legally sanctioned in a ring. So. He's just not. That, he's just uh, not that how guy. Was, how was John? John Gabbana beat Supreme Patty's ass pretty good. Yeah, yeah. That, was, that was impressive. I knew that was gonna happen. Yeah, I, ta I yeah. talked to John too. He on got live sometimes. He he left the live. He cleared it from the live when I said. Uh, how do you feel game. that he transformed? I mean, I'm proud of him, you know? You're proud of him? Yeah, I mean, well, think about when I interviewed you, him the most recent time, he fucking passed out that, and blasted his forehead into the wall. But, but, so but, to see him sober and actually doing good in the boxing match, that was pretty cool. Do you, know? you think Do you think that his image was better back then? Than not, not like, be real, like. I mean, it was it was hilarious at the time, but it was like, it wasn't going to last. That's you know, he's people, stealing shit. He's should, doing tons of okay, drugs. Okay, that wasn't going to last. But It was entertaining, people, but was it good for him? No. Was it going to last a long time? No. So we, I'm glad we, that he's We was getting called yeah. Palm, uh, Palm Beach Boot Gang because we were steal, <laughs> stealing at the time. It was tatted up in our face and stuff like that. But Boot Gang definitely has a good image, uh, uh, whether he's positive or, or being negative, running off on people's stuff. Like he, he, I think he has an impact when it comes to tattoos and diamond grills. I don't know why, I he's, he's, not, I don't know why he's not a... Uh, I don't know. What was funny is that Skinny from Nine, after he lost that boxing match, he was so pissed off that him and his girl ended up fighting the dude that he fought in the boxing match oh. and his girl backstage. And I guess there's video, but Supreme Patty's trying to get it removed from the internet. But uh, bro, they, what they is were, he going through yeah. in his life that he has to like do this? I don't know. He signed a Soldier Boy, man. Yeah. Would you guys sign a Soldier Boy? Um. Yeah. You signed a Kodak, you signed a Soldier Boy, boom, undefeated, fucking hey. impossible to defeat Look, at that point. I was yeah. fucking with Soldier Boy up until he signed Skinny for the Night. What the <laughs> hell is that? What the fuck? Skinny for the Night is not. He's got my. When I went live with Skinny for the Night, my girl, the first thing she asked me is, "What did he buy all his Instagram followers? Mm. He's got no clout. Yeah, he didn't bring no views. He bring no views. I'm talking shit to you. I you when I went live with Fulio, we had almost 20k. If he didn't stop it, it probably would have been at 100k. Yeah, I don't know why it was popping. The live with Fulio, was, it went dumb. It kept views going up. Was. Even he was like, uh, uh, you feel me? He wants to act like it wasn't like that wasn't a lot of numbers, but you feel me? Hmm. That was a lot of numbers. I ain't gonna count. 
It's kind of like it's kind of like we should work with each other instead of like beefing because we pull we pull I, numbers. See, we'll get all bad. these Florida rappers already know who, who we are. They know that we're gonna get big. Like, bro, Kodak would not meet up with him if he knew that he wasn't gonna be big. And that's a fact. If I'm big and I'm famous, I'm not gonna meet up with a random person for no reason. You yeah, know to hit me up and and talk to me the way he talked to me and pull me to the side and, and have a conversation. Cause people were like, why why does he want to talk to you in person? Cause he's like, I want to meet you in person. Bro, he wanted to business. chill with him like in person, like and I, to his in his. And he, I was right. He, he go, wants to pull me to the side and talk to me. Hey, you feel me? And we hung out. You feel me? Went to the clubs and everything like that man real, real. you went to the club with Kodak too yeah nice what I was kind of I was jealous I'm like bro he's fucking with you dog yeah. on FaceTime I was like man yeah. I wanna, that's the vibe it was Tahoe truck everything sliding everything like think like about that. it we're from Florida well, it's not he's, game. he's with the most uh, talked about littest most relevant In Florida rapper like, he's time. a face when you think of Florida you think of Kodak yeah. Yeah. you don't think right about now, nobody most else most influential Florida rapper like the last 10 years for sure one Co of the most you influential think of Kodak? in I mean, come America on. He's the Broward he's he, the biggest Z goals you feel me G hey what's up G you feel me like yeah so yeah he definitely he definitely influenced a lot of Florida yeah, uh, so stuff the Wicks like you feel me so like that's how you know like yeah, that's lit. No cap. Yeah, so, I was so, proud, I was so, I'm, I, so it was kind of cool meeting him and you feel me, talk to him and got his note. You know, it, yeah, real cool. Definitely. So, okay, where do you guys see your career being at right now and what do, what do you have planned and, and how are you going to take shit to the next level? Well, as you can see, we just came out with a music video. We trying to we 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 gonna make that we gonna make that video go up for sure. Yeah, we're gonna make it go up. Cause we have, we money have, went up and the uh, murder went all smoke and rain all went up and stuff like that. This video with we got more we got more money now, so we got we could put into more like uh, music uh, like camera uh, camera guys that are good. You know what I mean? So we gonna we gonna we gonna make movies. Definitely. Yeah. So like video wise, we gonna make movies and people don't. How do I say this? People with the audios they do numbers. But when it does music videos, like, because our image and stuff like that, people love watching it. Whether they make fun of it, put a dislike and hate in the comments, we like, get views. Then again, it's an image thing. Yeah. Mm. 2021. So, so we're like, some people are like album, some rappers are album rappers, that's why people, single rappers. That's why people try to tell me, bro, rappers. bro, you should vlog. We video, we video but, rapper, we music videos. People be telling me, you should vlog, bro. Like, you feel me? You got it all. But I'm like, vlog, I don't, I don't look at myself like a vlogger. Like, mm. I just don't, I don't you, look at myself you just like need, picking you just up need the need camera. It. You've done it before. You know how it is. Yeah, if you're a rapper, you got to be kind of secretive about how much of yourself you, in your yeah. life you really want to show you to the public. You definitely can't. I wish you I got to show up a camera and get money off of it, but I can't. I got. I live a secretive, private, introverted life. Mm. Yeah, fact. not not like a lot of you don't li you don't live it as much as a lot of rappers. More rappers are more secretive than us. Yeah, more rappers are more secret, but uh, I know I they know, don't be on live. I know I know the route I'm taking. Uh, I definitely got to be secretive my whole life. If I'm if I'm gonna be famous, yeah, you gotta yeah. move smart. Cause you guys are hella famous, but not necessarily rich enough known. to go I'm, live like in a private ass. You gotta area, understand, right? we, we we I definitely can't walk the streets. You feel me? Yeah, right. like lacking or anything like that. You we, guys aren't going to Melrose while you're out here or anything. That's like uh, the main shopping area. Out here. Oh, oh, we we went there. I shot a music video right right oh. walk uh, walking there and stuff like that. But no, oh. I. I, I you gotta be careful, man. People can be getting no, robbed it, left no, and right not, over there. No, it's not. Bet. No, the thing with listen, I like Cali and stuff like that, but like. It's it's a different vibe. Oh yeah. Then Florida, yeah. It, like I don't I, I don't come in Cali to come catch a vibe. Like I, I don't know what. Am I tripping? I don't know. I just don't want to see y'all get kidnapped by some bloods out no, here. Oh no no no! I like I said I like Cali. I like Cali. I'm from I'm from Flo I'm from Florida. Right. So you gotta understand like different politics. Yeah, Flor Florida to me it's like it's more it's like it's like Cali, but it's more calmer. Mm. You feel me? It's more spread out. No, so uh, more spread out. It's less okay, intense. Okay, yes. okay. So that's where he's not understanding. Me he likes and, Cali, but me no. Me and him have 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 a different opinion about about Florida and and. Florida's way more wild. You understand what okay, I'm saying? Yeah, okay, yes, way it's more wild. But to I, live in, I don't, you rather you rather live in Cali than Florida? I, I, I risk my life more being in my state in Florida than being in Cali. That's a fact. That. Like Boozy said. Like so, Boozy said. That's a fact. Yes, your own city will hate on you. Mm. You're, You're right. Anywhere in Florida. Florida, get down. I'm telling you. Like, oh, yeah. you, it's a, it's a whole different vibe. You feel me? That, he's not understanding that. That You feel me? Like I, We live in two different in two different sections in, in uh, back, back okay, in Okay, let me ask you a question. If you're, ri I, if you're rich... Like really, really rich, and you become a multi-millionaire. You got a big, a big crib, a big crib with nice cars in the front, right? You're not really, and you live in a rich part. You're not really tripping about what the other people got going on. Okay. 
Sometimes. You feel me? Yeah. I rather, I rather, I rather, and you live private. No one knows where you, you can stay. live in Florida. I, I would move out to Cali if if I if I got Florida, the big bag. Florida neighborhoods are nicer. Like the, when you become rich, they're <clears> just nicer. <throat> that's not how it works. What's it called? Any? Uh, um, that's not how it works. Anybody? Too, anybody could be anybody could anybody could be in anybody could be in the suburbs. It's too much traffic. Anybody could be in the suburbs in, in Florida and, and it get it get down in the suburbs. It gets down all the time in in the Publix in in, in the suburbs Publix in right. a Walmart and I'm red. You you know I'm 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 known so. Like just yes, you, yeah, I'm hate, you I'm hated even obviously you can't go to a Walmart. That's why you yeah, send someone to go to a Walmart. But no, I'm still staying I don't know. I go uh, uh, see. I go out the out the state in Cali or something like that. It's a different vibe. I'm not as hated. So right. to you and me, got two different things for sure. Like you could you could move two out here things. and be like <laughs> I don't post, know you're going. not going to be dealing with as much problems. But then also the the gang structure in, in LA head, is so much more that in time it might become I an guess, issue. I guess I can't really I can't really be mad that he's got a different opinion about it, but I, I hope he I hope I hope you 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 save when cuz I'd move out of I get a big bag, I'd I, move out of Florida. I just I visited states, I just can't get used to them. No, all. Mm. Florida's small. Like Florida's a big state, but it's really small cuz we have the Everglades and then we have cities like the strip strip you think suburbs is is sm- is is big? It's really not. Mm. Suburbs, right, oh, suburbs, right next to the hood. You're right. It's always everywhere in Florida. If you in the richest part, the hood is right across the bridge. So you think that you I, think I, you look, think it's I'm sweet just, in the suburbs I and it's really think, not. I just think the houses in Florida are just nicer. Okay, that's cool. There's nice like the neighborhoods. Like I just I, I ro- like I like the suburb neighbors. Like w- like driving he, in there with a he's, with he's, a nice gate. He's, he's wrong. There's Bel Air. He, there, there's Bel Air here. There's Calabasas but that's, here. But that's, there's way more money out here. Yeah, but that's You're overrated. Wrong. Too many people. Oh, Bel Air like. Oh, you guys should go no, to Compton and tell me what happens. Nobody. Okay, but. Okay, but you gotta understand. We, uh, I, I don't know how Compton, how Compton works, but you gotta understand. Uh, F- Florida is a whole different jungle. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like when you go to Pompano, like 1800 block, the ugly corner. Uh, when you go to Dade, like you go to uh, Opalaka, you go to uh, uh, Miami Gardens. You feel me? Like, they, they, they get down. I, I feel like the hood. The, when I go to the hood, if it, it, it fucks with me, I feel like when I'm in the suburbs, it's more da- it's more dangerous because you feel me? Like, it, lo- it makes me look uh, different. You feel me? It makes me look like, oh, when I'm in suburbs, what's it called? I stand out a little bit more. But anyways, that's also saying. Um, that's why you gotta watch. Cause sometimes watch so I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes like there's certain hoods in Florida that fuck with me. I'm not uh, not every not 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 certain ones. Not like especially Spanish hoods. But what's it called? But there's like we have like G Block in Lakewood. They 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 fuck with us. You okay. feel me? And then you have you have the Haitians. Haitians fuck with us. But what's it called? But there's certain hoods that don't fuck with us. But it's whatever. But when I come out to Cali, there's a whole bunch of famous people out here. They're not really as worried about me. Oh, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Because people it's are kind of like people okay. are killing people because you guys are a bigger fish in a smaller pond in Florida exactly. versus you're a exactly. smaller fish in a big pond oh, out exactly. here. Oh, yeah. I hope you don't think Florida's that sweet. Did I did I not just say I'm talking about a I'm talking about hold on I'm talking about a, a big crib I'm not talking about I'm not talking about I'm not gonna walk into Walmart like I'm a regular person mm. definitely not no Any you Walmart I don't no, care if it's, no, I'll be in Walmart no you no yeah I, I go to Walmart in Cali nobody cares about you right you know you know what I'm saying but you're in Florida you're a rapper and you talk I ain't going to the Walmart and if you're in Florida look if I, you're in Florida it's like the, it's like you gotta keep a gun on you when you go to Walmart because like put it this way the baby you feel me Charlotte. Don't get ass down in Florida, but North Carolina got some. You know, you got something going on, right? Right. Okay, the baby he had to feel me. He had to get down in, in Walmart. Yeah. So Walmart does get down in certain in certain parts, but in Cali, they, in Cali, it's not. You know what I mean? In LA, we got the Walmart Crips. You got the Walmart Crips? There's like a whole Crips set of just Walmart employees. Yeah, but I but I, I bet there's I, but they're employees. There. I was just kidding. You guys are ruining it. <laughs> they start laughing at me. They, I'm they think it's fun. No, it's just like, it's an inside joke. Nah, nah, yeah. nah, nah, but uh, you feel me? Like, uh, I mean, I, I mean, Florida, sur- Florida suburbs. You feel me? It's just, it just, it's right, it's right there. Like, it's, you know what I mean? It's just, it's right there. Well, y'all better be safe because this interview is gonna put an even bigger yeah. spotlight no, wait, on what's going on, and I just want to make sure you guys are you, good. You, st- you, you, you stand out. You stand out like right away. You got, you feel me? You got blonde wigs. You got, you got face tattoos. You got goals in your mouth and stuff like that. You think? I, you might see Florida different than me. I've been all around. I've been bored. I've been had a car when I was 14, 15 years old. Been all around. Like I've been. You feel me? I know. I know. I know. I, I know every section in, in South Florida. And How you deal with haters and everything like that? Ignore. So it gets down. You ignore them. Scam likely. Ignore. Oh, you ignore them. I mean, sometimes you got to fight back, but not really. Yeah. Mostly, yeah, you, mostly. You got to choose your battle sometimes, and then you know. Yeah. Sometimes you don't even waste your energy. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You got to pick pick your enemies yeah. wisely. 
Especially, sure. especially when you benefit out of it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you guys are, are benefiting from the beef and, and whatnot right now because it, it puts I, I mean, more we've been chilling. We've been chilling. That's uh, what I always been saying. But yeah. Um, sometimes you just want to focus on the music. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I've been focusing on, on on the music. I'm getting real tired of, of dealing with people. Yeah, same. They're mm-hmm. becoming just if you're not a rap, if you're not a rapper, I don't really want to talk to you. I feel you for sure. You gotta understand, certain people don't have the same type of mindset as you. Mm. So when you got fans, they come at you. They're your fan because they watch you, right? But they might come at you in a weird way, like, oh, yeah. and you might feel pressed. You're like, why'd you ask me that stupid question? Definitely. Or why'd you come at me like that? Yeah. Like, like, do you think? Like, like, you ever think? I that, might fight my fan. Do you ever think? Hey, hey, do you? I'm gonna fight my hey, fans. Hey, nah, but hey, <laughs> hey, do you ever think in your head that you're more lit than a lot of people? Cause you, I mean, you kind of made a name for yourself. Yeah. He said, yeah. I mean, but but the thing is, my fans treat me super fucking like I I see fans all the time, and it's just real quick. Like, yo, can I get a selfie? Like, they they don't like. I'm not even talking about that though. I'm really talking about like when you when you walk when you walked when you walked in like you like you notice how everyone like they know who you are. You're at you're Adam Twenty Two. Well, they all work for me. They all work (laughs) for you. You feel me? Yeah, they all are literally my employees. (laughs) Yeah, so So they have to know who he is. Yeah, yeah. They yeah, kinda, so yeah, they so, gotta show me at least some attention. I wonder if it's fake though. Do you yeah. think? Do you think? Adam, Laura, you just saying hi to me because you're working. Let me ask you a me? question. When you're by yourself, not trying to get hey, fired. When you're by yourself, do you think Adam's like known? Like in your head, you're like, yo, I know a known guy. She like, don't care about me. She likes Eminem. For me, there's no way. I feel like everybody always recognizes. Every yeah, everyone kind of recognizes him. But you're nowhere like that. Like you're not even. You don't want none of that, right? Like you're not. She stays low key. It comes with it. It comes with it. Yeah, it's gonna come with. Yeah, she's my security guard. She carries the blicky. She's a, she's a security guard. Bro, she got three guns on her right now. She got one strapped to her ankle, she, and hand sanitizer. <laughs> See the way how Kodak moves in, in Florida and stuff like that. Ain't nobody gonna really touch him. Right, but he moves around like a millionaire. You know, you got security. You yeah, got he got security. Shooters, he's probably, got a lawyer. He's got, he's got a lawyer. He's got his homeboys that are legal legal guns, legal legal license to drive in a town. I don't guess why Kodak don't get out the street. And it's just, crazy that Kodak. But is he sitting still, back, but he still won't move out of uh, out of Broward. I don't he's know why. Back, he's still, wearing a turtleneck, smoking a black and mild, watching this interview, having a good time. I assume. Okay then, maybe he'll text he'll text me and say, What's "Hello, up? Yak." Uh, nah, but. <laughs> Yeah, he no. You ever thought about interviewing him? I've been trying. He don't even respond. He he liked my my message the other day on Instagram, but he, yeah, he, he didn't respond. His, he just liked it. He be reading his DMs. He be on the he be on the internet for sure. Yeah. 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 I'm trying to have him pull up on him. I'm trying to go pull up on him. Pull up on him. I was him. supposed to go with track, you know, 100k track. We were gonna go pull up on him, but then the schedule. Uh, 100k track is that like 100k management? Yeah. Oh, okay. Is that Me- the guy with Melly, the dreads? Melly's old manager, yeah. The dre- the gray dreads? Current manager. The gray dreads? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. He he brought him up. Uh, Kodak brought him up to me. Yeah. Yeah. Good dude. I was actually in Miami over the weekend. Oh, it was lit? Yeah, it was a good time. We were up in the club. Mr. Rogers. What'd you go some do? Shit. Uh, we did the Fresh and Fit podcast. You guys should go on there. I don't know what that is. Oh, I'm going to line it up for you. You got to meet these guys. Uh, tell them where to go follow you and everything like that. Uh, at Cody at Red. K-O-D-I-Y-A-K. Red with two Ds. R-E-D-D. My name, Stop is, playing. My name is Fly Soldier. You feel me? Uh... Go watch my new music video, because that bit hard, no cap. That bit hard. Big Bag ENT is the YouTube channel. That's me and my brother. We own that YouTube channel. Stop playing. That way. Appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for Appreciate coming through. This was fucking wild. Uh, everybody, Flash Soldier and Kodiak Red, No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. Check us out on YouTube, SoundCloud, Patreon, OnlyFans, all that shit. Like, comment, and subscribe. NoJumper.com if you want to support. Appreciate y'all.